guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today i'm going to be doing a clothes haul all for children basically um i know i've been absent on youtube and i'm sure you don't want to hear about the excuses so i'm going to get straight into it i've got oscar some outfits milo some outfits some footwear some accessories they're pretty cool i'm loving the autonomous feel at the moment and i'm just really digging the season <laughs> I've tried to think forward about things like Christmas coming up, Christmas jumper day, and just looking so cute. <laughs> and yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first outfit is for Oscar, and this outfit is actually so cute. Oscar has never ever worn jeans. Actually, that's a lie. Let me stop myself. For our wedding day, he wore jeans. Other than that, he's never worn jeans. So that's not never. Okay. He very rarely, hardly ever wears jeans. I usually put him in like softer trousers, leggings, joggers, like smarter trousers, which are a bit soft, basically. I have finally gone and got him some... Are these jeans? They're like jeans. I guess they're kind of like a chino. And these are a skinny fit. So obviously these are a little bit like an oatmeal sort of beige colour. These are an age 3 to 4. Oscar has just gone into a 3 to 4. But when I tried these on him yesterday, they are a little bit big around his waist. But the length is good. He's at that stage where I don't really want to buy 2 to 3 clothes because it's not going to last long. So I've got these. These are from Zara. These are ten ninety nine. These are really, really cute, and I'm going to be matching it with a white t-shirt underneath, which I don't need to show you, because most of ours have stains on. And this jumper, which is also from Zara, and it's got, like, this arch effect. Is it concave? I don't know, it's got this nice effect around the neck, and it's got different colours on it. But it's navy, but I actually do really like Oscar in navy. It makes his eyes pop as well. This is age 3 to 4. This is actually quite expensive, in my eyes. 19 99 for a jumper. But I always find that winter clothes are always more expensive than summer clothes. I guess because of the material as well. But it does feel really, really nice. And I know Zara washes up nicely as well. So he's going to be wearing chinos and this lovely wool jumper and he'll be matching it with some boots of which i was going to be showing you today but actually his dad's taken him out and he's put them boots on but i have got them in a bigger size because milo's got the same so i'll show you what boots i'm talking about so he'll probably wear them with these so these are from next and they're like lined inside all the way so they're really really warm they are like a brownie color but i think they also sell them in navy but in my opinion it's not a very nice navy it's literally just a pull-on boot so milo, milo and oscar find it like quite easy to put on and there's no complaints oscar's worn his for a few weeks and he said that they were comfortable they are a size nine and he's a nine and a half but we did try 10 on and they were way too big like even like around here but these are from next and these are really really cute i think they're about 30 pounds i'm hoping they'll last for the winter okay so next outfit is for milo and milo's getting to that sort of age where when i say that this is going to look buff on you he's like no, no mum that looks dead but then when, when i tell him to put it on then he's like oh yeah it looks kind of nice actually mum i'm feeling myself uh, this is probably one of my favorite outfits that i got milo this shopping trip and it's one of those outfits that I feel like I can switch it up and use a different top or use a different trousers. Anyway, let me show you. So we have got these like checker brown sort of granddad trousers. There's no cuff at the bottom. So that's why I went for an age nine as opposed to 10. Because Milo's in a nine to 10 at the moment. Because I wanted them to have like a bit of a more of a tapered look at the bottom. To be a bit of, bit more fitted. These are from Zara. And these are 19.99. These are regular fit so they're not skinny fit. So when he saw these, he was like, Mum, they're literally granddad. The only issue I'm having with Zara trousers at the moment with Milo is the drawstrings are really short. So you really have to make sure that when you put them in the washing especially, just tie them because they're all coming out. It doesn't even matter if we've got like an age 10 or 11, they're all coming out. They're just really short. And actually we had the same issue with the shorts in Zara this year. So underneath he's going to be wearing like a next long sleeve tee. These are like just like a staple piece in Milo's wardrobe to be honest. He's actually got a lot but you know what happens you get stains and stuff. These are five pounds each. I always size up because I want like a layered effect so underneath the jumper I want it to be peeking through maybe for the sleeves or maybe just a little bit at the bottom so not much but oversized is nice. But we're going to be matching it with this gorgeous beige i hate that word beige 
camel, whatever you want to say. It's not camel, but yeah, it's like a lovely colour. Knitwear jumper. It's quite high necked. We've got this in age nine and it's 19.99, but it's really, really nice material. And, and this outfit literally looks so sick on. It looks so lovely. Like yesterday when you tried it on, basically rolled up the knitted sleeve and the white one was coming through. I tucked the jumper in a little bit and had a little bit of the white flap coming over and with the trousers and the shoes that i put on with it are these just some new fresh black and white converse it's so sick it'll be buff for like it'll be buff for like christmas meals and stuff like that okay next outfit is for oscar and this outfit is such good value for money we don't really put that much character stuff on the children but zara actually just kill it with the character stuff for children they are so amazing because they've got characters on obviously but they're not like babyish if that makes sense like the actual jump is still really nice feeling and it just doesn't look too baby which i don't like i know some people say you should just let your children wear what they want but you know what i'm paying for it so no your pajamas can look dead trust me they've got some dead pajamas right now but when i'm taking you out all needs to look cute so anyway, so in Zara, you get this jumper, Mario Kart, Oscar's obsessed with at the moment. It's $16.99, but you get the leggings with it too. How good is that? It's grey leggings and then it even has like the little detailing on the waistband. So it's just a stretchy band. This one is a little bit big for Oz because it's a three to four. So I'm going to need to fold it over just to make it a little bit tighter. But the two to three just wouldn't last long. I know it wouldn't. So that's why I went for the three to four. But I just thought that was like amazing value for money. $16.99 because usually you'd pay like $12.99 for a jumper in Zara anyway. I was super impressed with that. Oscar loves that one. He did ask to wear that today. I said, babes, I'm filming. So later. Okay, so sticking with character theme, I got this jumper for Milo from Zara. It's a, you can see, Pac-Man jumper. It's really cute. I got it in a larger size. So it's actually a size 10 because I really wanted it to be really big. So I wanted it like an oversized jumper. It looks really cute on him. And he absolutely loves the colour and the feel. He said it's really, really soft going to be matching it just with a zara plain t-shirt so kind of similar to the next ones these ones are slightly more affordable these ones are 3.99 but they are a little bit thinner and a tiny bit transparent so next maybe your option if you want it a little bit thicker and then i'm going to be matching them with these like cherry sort of color can you see that it's not quite red well it is red but it's like a cherry color again you can see here that the drawstring is quite short you can't really actually tie these up it's more just for the look the thing i love about zara is they always add these little details in anywhere possible which is really cute it adds a little something else you know so he's going to be wearing the cherry bottoms white t-shirt and the pac-man jumper probably paired with his converse Okay, so I'm totally on the jean vibe at the moment for Oscar. When he tried them on yesterday, which were the, because they're skinny fit, they just make him look so old. I'm just like, oh my God, my baby's grown up. But, you know, it's got to happen, right? So I got these navy chinos, which are the same style as the ones I showed you earlier. These are 10.99. Again, I've gone for the age three to four, which says it's for about 104 centimeters. Oscar's 102 centimeters, so it's right. That's actually quite a good gauge when I go in there. I'm like, I know what the heights they are. We measure them every month. So that is actually a really good gauge to have. I'm gonna be matching it with this cute t-shirt which is from River Island. Love the bee design and this design on the top here, which some people might say is kind of Burberry, but I'm not buying my son a Burberry t-shirt because this one's eight pound. Probably gonna get like cranberry sauce down it. Yes, he does like cranberry sauce and it's gonna probably get stained. So yeah, eight pound, that's decent. Three to four, age three to four, that was good. And then if he needs a jumper, I've gone for this knitted oatmeal, my favorite color, isn't it, when I say that. Again, I've gone for age three to four. It's gonna last a bit longer and don't mind them when they're a little bit longer if you do want them a bit shorter you can kind of bustle them up if you know what i mean and then footwear for this outfit you could wear the boots or you could wear these Ta -da! i've just got oscar goldy colored converse they're actually so beautiful milo actually did have these when he was younger and they they look so cute i know that when we got his feet measured they said that one foot is a nine and a half and one's a nine so you probably need to go to ten and have an inner sole in one i mean can children just not be easy 
So basically I got the 10s. They fit him fine. It's really hard with Converse because you can't really feel where their toe is. And you're like, wiggle your toe and then they don't really do it, do they? And then I'm like, where's your toe? And he's just pointing like, mummy, I know where my toe is. So anyway, I bought some inner soles and bought these. These were about £30. Inner soles were about £2. So decent. But I actually do really love this outfit. We're going we're going out for dinner this year for Christmas. And um, I do like to look nice for Christmas. And I, I like the kids to look nice too. So this will probably be one of the outfits that I put on him for Christmas. I think it's really cute and comfortable as well. So it's got a bit of comfort is important too. And especially with like Converse on as well. Okay, so on to Milo. I've got him just a pair of black denim jeans from Zara. I find his jeans are really, really expensive now because he's getting a big boy. He's age 10, so that means he's going to have to wear a belt, but the length is good. These were 19 99 so quite pricey, but they do last and they are good quality and they wash up well. So these are from Zara. Ignore all the hangers, by the way, because I'm not one of them people who have perfect hangers in our wardrobes. I do have the velvet ones for me, but you know, the children don't really care. So, And then I'm going to be matching it with this nice t-shirt from River Island. I don't know if you can see here, it's got like little skulls gold skulls such a lovely color and the fit is really really nice it's slightly longer than like a traditional t-shirt which looks really cute this was 12 pounds so quite good comes under the color morocco mix maybe i'm gonna start saying that now but we've paired with his next boots it looks so sick like we tried it on last night and he was like yeah take a picture of me he's like this sitting on oscar's bed looks really cute so milo and oscar don't usually match outfits but what i like to do is coordinate them so i thought that milo can wear this outfit one day and oscar can wear this outfit one day and they'll look quite cute so then also we've got some beige or morocco whatever it was dungarees for oscar they look so long now these are at age three to four he also does have them in navy which i did get a few weeks ago they're really really cute and they fit really nicely as well also what i love about dungarees is that actually you can put like a jumper underneath i'm hoping to get him a blue knitted jumper from Z um next i didn't have his size in a blue knitted jumper under here or you could also put it over the top so then you've just got a pair of corded trousers is underneath so that's a good thing also not these ones but the blue ones they have like a checkered bit when you roll them up it just gives a little bit more detail on that outfit really but they're really really lovely and such a nice color for the winter then for oscar we've got some smarter trousers here they're softer material and again i love the detailing on the bottom so he's obviously got a pocket which he's not going to use and then this little bit of stitching these are 14.99 and i'm going to be pairing this with wait for it this is so cute this velvet tuxedo jacket we are going for dinner on new year's day with the children we're going to somewhere nice and he's probably going to wear this because it's quite a smart place so he's probably going to be wearing that with his boots and then instead of wearing a shirt underneath i basically paired it with this roll neck long sleeve t-shirt or top from zara which was about 3.99 the jacket is $24.99. I do generally feel like I can actually get quite a lot of wear out of that because especially over this time there's a lot of celebrating and stuff. We're going to be having a baby shower and I always find these jackets actually last quite well. So he's going to be wearing all navy and he can either wear his boots or he could wear his gold converse. Give it a little bit more of an edge. Roll the bottoms up as well. Okay so Christmas jumper. I got Oscar a Christmas jumper but I didn't get Milo one because he's ridiculously fussy. I don't know sometimes if he wants like a kiddie one, a knitted one, a cotton one. I never never know. So I didn't pick Milo one because I thought I'm not even going to bother. You can come with me to pick that. But I did pick this one up for Oscar because he's not fussy. This is obviously like a little reindeer. It's super cute. Have a look at that. It's from Zara <laughs> and that was $14.99. And for me, in previous years, like, I've got them, like, this Christmas jumper, that shirt, like, blah, 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 blah. But actually, what is the point? Like, I saw a really nice tartan shirt in next, and it had, like, little reindeers over it. And actually, you're only going to wear that, like, once or twice. So, basically, I only get Christmas jumper and, and be done with it because they're not really going to wear it that often. I mean, pyjamas, I'll get them Christmas pyjamas because they're going to wear them. I'm still wearing Christmas pyjamas from last year. So I don't like to waste my money too much on too much themed clothing. 
but yeah i thought this was really really cute and he will probably be wearing that with something like this like them blue trousers that i showed you and i think that's the lovely thing about a lot of the things that i've bought it's not just the outfits that i've showed you how we're going to be dressing them they can switch and change that's a good thing having things that you can wear more than once or more than or with more than one thing and that way you get more money's worth okay so on to milo's outfit these are so these are like a jean material but they're like a gray color on the bottom they've got this little like luminous green a little bit of metal that's sewn in he actually got these two weeks ago so these aren't brand new but as you can see we've already tired this up because like i said the drawstrings are driving me insane these look nice with converse he's been wearing my white converse which i know i'm very brave to let him do because he doesn't look after them and then just pairing with like a zara t-shirt long sleeve and then this jumper which is from zara it's like a gray knitted one i'm not i can't remember how much this was because he has actually worn it last week it's at age nine it's like a higher neck again so it keeps his neck warm but it's really really comfortable he said and it's not itchy which i don't know about you but this that's higher on my priority list for shopping for the kids also back to character character things we've got this snoopy jumper for milo and um so you've got the little snoopy sign on the arm and then you've got the snoopy snoopy picture so this sort of thing i'd like to just put with nice jogging bottoms like cute jogging bottoms when i say nice jogging bottoms i mean not like the ones with the holes in that he goes to school with like the first pee kit and stuff because i buy so many navy um sports bottoms literally i'm starting to, i'm starting to give up okay this little tartan shirt i got this for oscar for like the Christmassy season but also you can still wear it when it's not Christmas season which I love that was 12 pounds so I thought that was quite quite good I love shirts on Oz this sort of shirt but not as much on my so it's, I think it's just about working out what's cute on them you know some things don't suit Oz and some things do suit Milo okay so last piece of clothing is for Oscar and actually I got this in an age four to five because I noticed that the three to four look quite small and I wanted it a bit bigger so it's got the checkered detail on the pocket but he will be wearing these with like a beige pair of of jeans or chinos if you want to put it and his brown boots so he looks really really cute okay accessory wise got this hat for Milo yesterday it was 7 99 and I got it in a size large because it's got a big head <laughs> not joking even though Miles will say it's, I've got a big head also he does have this in a navy as well but he's worn it to school and like I said about Zara they do the little details here so you can see there it says cool mode cool mood sorry and then Oscar's got this red hat which is lined so it keeps his head really hot sometimes he thinks it gets a bit sweaty but it's good for when it gets really cold and this is just from next it's actually a size five to six i oh know it's big isn't it and then i got oscar some of these cute socks so i'm a fan believer in socks especially if you're like rolling your trousers up at the bottom can make your outfit look even nicer i did actually look for some from my but they didn't have any in store so i'm gonna go and order them probably today actually online i think that's about it though i think that's oh do you know what i, w I wanted to show you something that got oscar and i was like oh my god this is so cute in the shop and i tried it on and i was like i was going back literally it looks so cute off but when i put it on him he just looked like such a granddad and it really wasn't like a cute granddad either and it just looks so dead but actually i feel like this would probably look cute on a really like little baby i'm gonna go and have a look to see if i can maybe get in like a smaller size for the baby <laughs> but yeah it is really nice it's 23 pounds though but it's going back anyway so that's okay so i always try and stick to like similar palette so then it is easy to mix and match Thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and i look forward to seeing you next time i'm really really going to try and do like one video a week at the moment but you know sometimes it just doesn't happen like i did actually record a vlog this weekend and then i look back at the the footage and i was thinking you can really tell i haven't been doing any videos i was like everyone was speaking over each other there's nowhere i could have cut anything so i basically just scrapped that I'm just taking it like easy like just do as you wish basically if there's anything you'd love to see from us please let me know comment and yeah the baby's kicking i can feel like oh my, my tea oh it's cold 
right so i'm off to ikea because we need to get some new storage for the baby we haven't moved house yet so technically the baby doesn't have a room so basically at the moment we have a built-in wardrobe in oscar's room and milo and oscar share that so what we're going to be doing is buying milo a wardrobe for his room and then the baby and oscar are going to share the wardrobe in here and then obviously the baby's going to be in our room but we're hoping that we're going to be i don't really want to be moving house whilst we've just got a new well whilst we're just about to give birth but yeah we're hoping to be moved by the summer so then the baby will be going into our own room then we get an extra bedroom it's crazy that we need four bedrooms now but um yeah anyway thanks so much for watching lots of love bye